How'd you like this? Yup. Behold the countless fallen, and all because of this demon. You saw what she did. She will kill us all. Surely, Councilwoman Bellet. Surely you agree with me? Yes. Seize her. No, 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 no. Th this young woman is our protector. She'll save us. He is as corrupted as she is. Seize them all before the darkness spreads. You will do nothing of the kind. Rogan Keen is wise beyond measure, and has always been a man of his word. Had we known he was still alive, he would be sitting on the council, not you. And this young woman has brought him back to us. Welcome home, old friend. Planter Silas' attack shows us one thing. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. And how many further agonies must we suffer? Her presence has cost us too many lives. Councilwoman Bellet is right. Planter Silas will surely visit her wrath upon us once more. A clear majority. The girl must be surrendered to Tanta Sila at once. No need. I'll go to her myself.
morning, Frey. Here are the notes on the Tirana I promised you. <sighs> Look, about our deal. Your dad's journals all got burnt up in the guild when we escaped. It's fine. Frey, you brought him back. That's far more important. That is more than I could ever have hoped for. Here. Thank you. So, uh, where can I find Sila? You should visit the Archives in Upper Sapor. You'll be able to find out more about her there. The Archives. Got it. Alden, sorry to bother you, but I just saw your father wandering off. Uh, forgive me, Frey. I need to go and find him. Right. Off to the Archives we go. I am kind of worried about Bob, though. He is my ticket out of here. <sighs> Do what you want. But remember, we have a Tunter to defeat. You're Frey, aren't you? The one who used their amazing powers to drive back the monsters. I'm Pilo. Can't believe I'm talking to the hero who saved the city. I'm not a hero. Not now, never will be. Did you want something? Um, just wondering if there's anything I can do. I don't know, I could... Hey, I could show you around town. You haven't been here long, right? A guided tour, what an excellent idea. Certainly couldn't hurt to get the lay no, of the land. No, thanks, but I'm not in the mood. Oh, don't say that! Look, I'll be waiting for you, all right? When you're ready, just let me know. Decided to take me up on my offer? Okay, bet. Give me the tour. Great! This is great! All right. We'll start at the square in the lower city. This way. Come on, follow me! The lower city is where all the refugees live. And the square, here, is its heart. Are you a refugee? My parents were. I was born here. So Paul are born and bred, huh? Anyone my age or younger pretty much has to be. talking about. The, the amazing girl? Oh, come on. I wouldn't go that far. Olivia used to look after my Ella for a lot, you know. But I never heard her talk about another grown-up like she did you. You must have been very special to her. You think so? And she was special to you too, I imagine.
guess we only ever actually spoke a few times. But we just kind of connected, you know? You, you remind me of her. She was strong. And you could trust her. And she was lonely. Hmm. Tanta Sina was a mighty warrior. I'd watch yourself out there if I were you. Oh. <sighs> Hello, Frey. I felt so powerless. There was nothing I could do to help. Nothing. Interested in these here books, are you? You've got a good eye. They're treasures of a sort, all rescued from the abandoned Cognitions guilds. Oh, cool. Hey, this one actually looks useful. It's about crafting. It certainly seems like it might be worth your while. I'd be happy to give it to you. For a price. I collect old things, see? Find some and I might just be persuadable. What about this old coin? Well now, isn't that a beauty? I'll need more than one of those depending on the book, but here, have a look. Anything take your fancy? Nice doing business with you. Oi, you! Huh? You talking to me? Uh, oopsie, uh, she's a sharp one. What's that you got there, eh? What, this? I just found it lying around the town. Let me swap you something for it. I'll do you a good deal, I promise. Let's have a look, shall we? All right, another time, maybe. <sighs> I was just pondering the fleeting nature of life. One moment, we are laughing together, not a care in the world. The next, we are not but dust on the wind. What good can come of love in such a time? Surely it can only end in tragedy. I hate to say it, but you might be right. Some music, perhaps? Though I fear it will do precious little to lift the mood. What a pity. Shall we?
Around here is basically a turf. A shame it's barely fit for human habitation. Do the buildings around here just not get fixed? Sometimes. But we're not a priority down here. The upper city comes first. In that, and in everything else. That sucks. Up there is where we get our water. Uh, I've seen that already. Thank you, though. Oh, really? All right, then. Let me show you something else. Change of heart, perhaps? I pray that it is so. Then allow me to perform the horrible terror of Praenost. He really needs some help naming this. Praenost is a harsh and unforgiving land. Not all who make the journey there are fortunate enough to escape a fiery fate. And for those they leave behind, naught remains but emptiness. You would do well to take care if you plan on venturing there yourself. Not exactly the most illuminating of ditties, was it? That's the trouble with these arty types. Very little in the way of practical advice. What do you mean? Kranos bad. Stay away. That was pretty much the message, right? It's downright frightening, it is. Fancy letting someone like that roam the streets unsupervised. Hey, Mommy! Mommy! Look, the lady! Shush you! And you don't go near her! You hear? Hey! That's no way to... It's cool. I'm used to it. Shame. I was rather hoping to see that fiery temper of yours in action. Petty small-minded gossips! Although, I suppose it is pretty frightening. With your power, you could turn the whole town on its head just like that! Yeah. There's something else, all right. Not this shit again. I'm nobody! Get over it already! Hey, do you like animals? They're all right, I guess. Great! You like this, then? Over here is where we keep all the livestock. We don't get to eat meat very often, but we do all right, I suppose. Hey, you can't create food out of thin air, can you? Never mind. The big open area is the graveyard. Rich or poor, we all end up there in the end. A farm and a cemetery. You don't see that often. Really? It's quite a good arrangement. The animals help keep the grass down. Come on, let's go and take a closer look. They're not shy, that's for sure. Well, we don't get many new faces in town. Hey, why don't you try feeding them? Really? Is that allowed? Of course! Wait here! I'll go and grab some food.
Just go up to one of them and hold out your hand. This guy's a mess. You don't bathe them? Oh, we try. But that one just loves his mud baths. Tantasaila didn't come as far as the pasture. There's that to be thankful for, at least. These little lines. <laughs> Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy. Like I said, this is the graveyard. There's so many of them. Yeah, well, if they're dead, they're down there. Damn, 
You really wolf that down, huh? Our savior's favorite farm. Let's get a ring to it. Don't you think? I might put up a sign. Right. I suppose it's time I showed you the upper city. It's back the way we came and up the stairs. Or did you want to look around a bit more first? Tanta Saila didn't come as far as the pasture. There's that to be thankful for, at least. These little lovelies are worth more to us now than ever. Wool, milk, meat, even parchment. You name it. We need them for it. That's the graveyard. Everyone who ever died in Sepal is buried there. Only trouble is... Can I ask you something? Your powers? Could you give me a quick demonstration? Absolutely not. You're not some street performer. Look, I'm sorry, but they're not for show. Ah, really? I was hoping you'd give me another look. But I guess I've seen enough. Adi is as good as save already. How many fucking times do I have to tell you? I'm not your savior. So, this is where the rich folks live. Yep. And they get the best food, the nicest clothes, and the safest part of the city to themselves. They get to run everything just because of who they are. Best not to think about it. Ah, the accident of birth. Curse you, cruel fate. It's... Her. Oh, don't even look at her. What business does someone like that have in this part of the city? Oh, that boy is here again. Ignore him. He'll clear off soon enough. Do you want me to call the guards? Only if she does something. Well, of course she will. We'll see, dear. We'll see. This is the Tower of... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Hey, uh, don't worry about it. Let's maybe not go in for the full tour, though.
This is the mausoleum. Our souls come here when we die. What are you doing here? And you? You belong in the lower city. Yes! You have no right to be here. Neither of you. Be gone! Ugh, oh, of all the people to run into. Frey saved the city! If anyone deserves to be here, it's her! If she wanted, she could turn you to ashes in a heartbeat! But she'd never do that! Isn't that right, Frey? Okay, can you fucking let it go already? What? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? If you want to save your city, do it your fucking self. You're not dragging me into this. What about our tour? There's so much still to see. I don't need a stupid fucking tour. You're not really going after Tanta Sila, are you? I suppose it's better than you loitering around town any longer. criminal who came from the corruption, aren't you? Well, stay out of the upper city. We don't want you tainting us with it. Wait! Listen, okay? I never said I'd help you. With anything. Ever. Got that? I... I'm sorry! I just... I got carried away, I suppose. Look! Let me take you to one last place. Fuck no! Come on, please! I'm not sure he's gonna take no for an answer. <sighs> one look. At whatever the hell it is, and I'm out. Thank you so, so much! Come on, it's this way! Wait, wh what the hell is this? Thank you so much for saving the city! Oh, Mom said we're not supposed to talk to you, but, but you helped us. Thank you, Frey. They've been wanting so badly to show you how grateful they are. Uh, I... it was nothing. That's not true. And you know it. We're all in your debt. Me included. Wait, is... is this why you came and found me in the first place? Pilo! You'd better not let me find you slacking off, you little runt. Oh, no! Where the heck are you? Get here! Now! Oh, no! It's the boss! Sorry, Frey. I've got to go. What an excitable young man. You know, I've never gotten flowers before. And let's hope it never happens again, shall we?
Odin's over the moon. Well, are you going after it? Stopped. For me? Ha, oh, you shouldn't have. I have a strange feeling that cat wants us to follow it. Greetings. What do you want us to find here?
for me. Ha, oh, you shouldn't have. Cats in the upper city certainly aren't afraid of anyone, are they? Yeah, they're cute. They're not Homer. I don't know how you even tell one from another, to be honest. <gasps> Bob seem worried. I wonder if Bob's okay.
The encroaching corruption has caused so many of the old ways to be lost. In days gone by, this would have been... What's that? Why are you still in Sepal, child? We allowed you to go free only because you said you would go to Tantasila yourself. I would advise you not to go back on your word. Wait, is that Olivia's name? Among others, yes. This is a record of those who perished. Rather a morbid thing to be jotting down, don't you think? Your recklessness resulted in the deaths of many innocents. My recklessness? I wasn't the one who almost got Arden killed. Better to lose one life than countless others. Or do you disagree? And why not? Because it sucks for the person making the sacrifice. But I guess, you know, that's never gonna be you, right? Yeah. I'm not interested in your thoughts on this particular subject. Thanks. Look, let me make it simple for you. Sila's going down. And no one is getting sacrificed. Least of all me. I have to say, I'm not hugely convinced by the people in charge around here. With that kind of attitude, they'll have sacrificed the whole city before long. Don't get me started. Tanta Sila is waiting, child. Uh. Well, if it isn't our favorite council person. Foul creature! Still you refuse to leave the city? You who brought Tanta Sila's wrath upon us? Say it was my fault one more time. I dare you. Uh, uh, Councilman Janesh! Cease your wickedness, demon. Do not approach her. All who do shall surely die. Those who consort with her will perish in agony, just like the child. 
What the fuck did you just say? Calm down, Frey. Don't let him get to you. You think because you returned that feeble-minded old dotard to us that something has changed? Well, think again. You are a blight upon us all, a bringer of doom. The councilman speaks the truth. Leave this place. Be gone. Fuck. You actually managed to exercise some self-control. I'm impressed. Not as impressed as I am. They're not worth your time. You did the right thing. <laughs> Be gone, demon. Brink! Calamity upon us no more! <laughs> Look at him. He looks like he's standing guard. That. Or he's still petrified after everything that's happened. Yeah, I guess they do have a pretty keen sense of danger, don't they? 